Hey, what's up, YouTube? We have some awesome news to talk about today for the world of iOS 12 jailbreaking. Today, we have our very first look at the very first customization tool for iOS 12 to 12.1.2. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to customize your notification badges. As you guys can see in this example right here, mine are now purple instead of red. And just to prove to you guys this is working on iOS 12, I'm currently on iOS 12.1.1. So this and more in today's video. All right, well this tutorial process is pretty short and straightforward, but before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates and news. All right, so this is what was tweeted out by Altica Dev. Torngat, the developer of Torngat, will be released when it's ready. It's not quite ready yet, it sounds like, but I don't know when that will be. In the meantime, here's a notification badge changer for iOS 12 to 12.1.2 and then goes on to say report any bugs on the issues to the TornGat repository GitHub profile. And here is said GitHub profile. So if we click on that right there, it will ask us to then download what's called Badges IPA. It's a short little application to change our notification badges, basically. I thought I saved it to the desktop. Okay, there we go. And of course, this is an application that we're gonna sideload, so we will need Cydia Impactor. So once you guys have both of those downloaded, now it's time that we can plug our phones into our computer and we can go ahead and trust the connection right here and make sure it shows up in iTunes. All right, so now that our iPhone is loaded into City Impactor, all we have to do is drag and drop this application, enter our Apple ID right here. Again, this program was created by Soric, so your information is safe. Now, as far as your password goes, now every Apple ID has two-factor authentication enabled, so you're gonna have to go to appleid.apple.com and log in right here real quickly. And then we can scroll to, oh, I guess we have to do two-factor authentication real fast. So, and once we're authenticated, then we can go ahead and create an app specific password right here. Just click generate password. Here you can type in anything you want. So I'll just type in badges and then scroll down and click create. And now we can just copy this password. So just control C get out of that application and then control V, paste that in right there. Click OK. And now on our iPhone right here, uh, oh, there we go, badges right there, it just appeared. But again, if you try to open this, we have to trust our developer account or our Apple ID basically. So if we just go into the settings app, go to general, scroll down to device management, click on our Apple ID and click trust right there. Now we are good to go to open up badges. All right, so it just takes a second to load here. Now again, as you guys can see, the default badge color at the top is red, and now it's going to ask you to enter a hex code, and you can change the opacity of exactly what color and what transparency you want your new badges to appear on. So if you just do a quick Google search for a hex color picker, I'm just on W3 Schools, um, that's an easy way to get color codes in the hex format. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick white, maybe. Um, um, I know that's FFFFF, but uh, let's go ahead and do that color right there. So six Fs right there. Now our badge color is white, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the transparency down just a little bit. And then you can click uh, dismiss keyboard right there. And now all we have to do is click change right there and do a quick respring on our device. So we'll go ahead and swipe up once our device has rebooted here. And there we go, guys. As you can see, now my badges are white and transparent. Now that's a little bit too bright. Unfortunately, it probably would look a little bit better if I did black instead of white because you can't yet change the text color. It's only the badge notification background color, basically. So that's just a quick way. If you guys wanna revert this back to the original or change it once more, again, just head back into the badges application right here. Give it a second to load once more. And once we're back, if you guys see here at the bottom, you can just click use default and then do a quick reset spring once more to revert back to the original red badges. And now when we swipe up and when I unlock my device, here we should have, yep, we have the original default red badges. 
Anyway guys, that's just a quick tutorial on how to change the badges on iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Again, this is kind of the first look at our first utility for customizing iOS 12, and that's exactly why I wanted to share it with you guys. Only good things are to come in the near future in the world of jailbreaking and iOS 12. But again, if you guys want to jailbreak and you're on 12.1.3 or anything newer, definitely downgrade to 12.1.2 or 12.1.1 while the signing window is still open. If you guys want a video tutorial on how to do that, definitely check out the link in your cards now or down below in this video's description. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this quick video today. Definitely before you go, like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.